Why do I need to register the microchip? So if we have a microchip and it's inserted into your cat, it's a unique identifier number. So right now that microchip is only gonna be um, uh, linked back to the shelter rescue or the veterinary hospital that purchased those microchips in the first place. So once it's in your cat, we want to have you go out to a microchip database and insert it not insert uh, inform them of that you have the cat and it has this microchip in it and just update your information to you know connect you with that cat uh, microchip so that should your cat ever get out or get lost or you know some accident ever happens that if somebody finds your cat or brings it into a hospital or shelter it's going to be able to be, they, we will scan them. That's a common thing that we do do. We have, a number will pop up and then we're going to immediately go to the microchip database. And we really hope that you keep your database um, up to date. For example, if you move, and the microchip is still going to be linked back to the former residence that you lived. Uh, if you update your phone number, you ditch your phone number and you get a new phone number, but you have a cat that has a microchip, don't forget to update your database information because it's always going to go back to the former residence or former phone number. There's nothing more disheartening than to find a cat that's microchipped and then we call the phone number and it's not in service. Um, and so now we have a cat that we know is microchipped and belongs to somebody and we can't get a hold of you. Um, more than one sad story of not being able to link a pet with your with your pet parents. So please remember to microchip your cat, um, update your database information, and just sleep tight at night knowing that your cat will get back to you. And that's ultimately why we want you to have your pet microchipped.